If you would like to use Smart Summon in your Tesla, you do need to have the ultrasonic sensors. I'm testing it with FSD 1241. I'm at the Schaumburg Public Library and we're gonna head out to the parking lot. First of all, before we get started, I'd like to send a huge shout out to Jim Warren, who is a new member of my Patreon community. Thank you so much for supporting me. It goes a long way. I appreciate you. I'm walking out to my car. I get a lot of utility out of this. I use it regularly here in the northwest suburbs of Chicago. Now this is something that is not just a party trick. It's convenient if it's raining outside or if you have a lot of groceries and you just want your car to come pick you up. You do need to be within a 400 foot radius. In the near future, this will be expanded to include a, a, a lot more functionality. You'll be able to travel further and it's gonna be a lot more powerful. I can't wait for that day. Uh, you can see here, I'm approaching now my car. It does need to be kind of within view. It's more comfortable at least uh, to be able to see your car. I've never had a collision. I have not even really had a near collision. And like I said, I use this all the time. I'm demonstrating the come to me functionality. There's another go to target functionality and here it's pulling out of its spot and it's com coming down the aisle to pick me up. Now I will say that yesterday, and especially as of recently, even with 12.3.6, I've had a couple issues where with 12.3.6, after using Smart Summon, I noticed that the FSD setting had turned off and I had to return it back on again. And then yesterday, when I was testing with 12.4.1 in a parking lot, it completely disabled all the visualizations. I couldn't turn on FSD, even though the setting was still on. I did have to do a reset of the DAS, the Driver Assistance System, which AI driver had told me after working six years at Tesla, that's what you can do to get it working again. So you can see here, I just opened up the doors, I threw my stuff in the back and I'm getting into the front. This is how you reset. I'm gonna go into cameras, reset DAS. Oh my gosh. Hold the right turn signal in the active position, plus press down on the brake for eight seconds. Hopefully you don't have to do this regularly. Uh, this is the first time in five years that I've owned my car and I've had Smart Summon since the beginning that I've actually had to go ahead and do this. Reset DAS. The test resets the driver assistance ECU using the controller area network CAN bus. Okay, run. Successfully hard reset the DAS. Okay, pass, close. Hope that was helpful. If you're considering buying a used Tesla, make sure it has the ultrasonic sensors if you want to use Smart Summon. You do need to have one of the packages to be able to enable it, namely uh, navigate on autopilot or enhanced autopilot or whatever you want to call it, or full self-driving. Thanks.